Hello, welcome. Josh Klein online here. Um, I've been requested many, many, many times to uh, go ahead and do uh, some kind of a walkthrough for the uh, chords in the Frank Zappa song, Uncle Remus, um, after I posted it about a year and a half ago. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get to it, but I'm here now, and um, here it is. Anyways, before you really get started on this, um, no matter how excited you are over this piece of music, you should definitely have some skills under your belt before you attempt it. You're going to have to know your bar chords before you even walk into this. You're going to have to know your uh, D minor pentatonic scales all the way up and down the neck. Um, and you're probably going to have to pr have a really good knowledge of your triads as well, up and down the neck and up and down your strings of your guitar, because um, we're going to be using a lot of that material to figure out how this goes. Um, but anyways, if you feel like you're pretty comfortable with that, um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we start with a D minor 7 chord. I like to use the one with the A string as the bass note. Um, because it leaves me in a nice place so that I have access to my pentatonic scale note. And it also gives me access to, um, to where this walking bass line is going, because as most of you know, George Duke would have his, his right hand and he would hold down the notes over here in his melody, and then he'd have something totally different happening over here, and we just don't have that capability as guitar players, but we can try and emulate it if we can figure out what we can... Uh, fit in our hand. <laughs> so, anyways, like I said, I start with this one, and I try to emphasize the melody notes, which are on top, and I try to emphasize my bass line, which is on the bottom, um, which is kind of tough if you're a pick player like I am, but there's ways to do it, and if you practice, you can figure them out. Um, so, anyways, there's the first one, and I'm going to hold it as I walk down my bass line. Then I'm going to use my pentatonic scale notes and then fall down into a, it's a G triad in first inversion, and I've spread my voicing a little bit so that it's not this one. So I'm taking this note that would be on my, like, D kind of a shape of a triad, and I'm moving it down. And then I've also put down this note, it's like an octave of that, so it sounds a little bit fuller. Um, and I love that chord because, first of all, it gets my bass line note, it gets my melody note, and it gives me the ability to get the next bass line note. So, so far we've got this D minor chord. We hold it, have our C on the E string, then melody, and then I can hold that and fall into my triad, and then walk down my bass line. Then I've got a couple of single notes, so I can take a little bit of a rest while I switch. And it's again off the D minor pentatonic scale, but again I've I've changed my inversion, so now I'm I'm there instead of I'm here. So I'm here, and then it's a G minor bar chord, but I'm taking uh, the high note, and I'm again taking that note from my pentatonic scale, and I'm gonna put it up on top, and then. This note is in the melody, but this chord, which is an A minor 7, or uh, what I like to refer to as an A minor 7 jazz shell, um, is that chord. So it's uh, first finger on the 5th fret of the E string, second finger also on the 5th fret of the D string, third finger also on the 5th fret, but of the G string. So those three notes, but then again I have this here, so I'm going to have to alter my fingering stretch a little bit so I can get that. So that from there it's and then I go to a B flat bar chord. Nice easy resting spot and then I can just relax and play my single notes. Or you can play them here. Depending on where you're comfortable going because we are going to this first fret F major chord because I have a nice bass note there, and also because I've got this note in the melody, so, and again, pentatonic scale in a new position, so, so I'm going from an F and doing my pentatonic melody into a G minor, and what George Duke does on the recording is a little bit different than what I do in my video, I, he does this uh, while his melody goes up here. 
I like to do is actually use like a little bit more of a guitar E chord. Um, and I like to stretch my pinky up here. It's the same note, but it's an octave lower. So. That's the one that I like. Again, that's my preference. You may decide that you like it, like the recording a little more. But going from there, we go back to our F chord again with a very similar melody. And then going to G minor and then ending and landing on a B flat major chord there. So that's, again, I like this inversion with the E string in the bass because then it gives me my melody notes here. Again, that's moving up into the that's moving up into uh, your like fifth inversion D minor pentatonic there. So, and then I've got another F major chord, but now I'm using the one with the A in the bass because now I can get again my melody note on top. So, and then I do the bass line down here, and then I'll go down to the low F major chord because, again, I get my melody notes there. And then A7. And now what I do on the A7 chord, use the A7 here. And then I use this chord. It's a diminished uh, seventh chord. So it's on, uh, it's second and fourth strings are on the fifth fret, and then the first and the third strings are on the sixth. It's kind of a funky chord. But then I use that with my A in the bass. So. Right? And then we're kind of back to where we're, we were at the beginning. But then we have to leave out all the notes in the middle. So I, I usually do kind of a chicken claw. And again, that's kind of like the beginning part. So D minor 7 walking down to the C, and, uh, right, and then we're almost, again, back, because we're going to a G minor, but then I just kind of walk up my bass line, just like up a minor scale, like a G minor scale, and then I go to a C chord, A7 chord, and G minor. Right? So all together, and I'll do it like the recording first, and then I'll explain where I do the difference. But all together, we'll have this. But that's not exactly like the recording either, because I actually have done the entire verse melody over that. And what happens on the recording in the piano part is they actually cut it short. So, if you want to just play what's on the recording, it's this. So we have the beginning. Just as we explained. Then here's where it changes. come in. So, hopefully now um, in 10 minutes or less, uh, you've gotten your Frank Zappa, George Duke transcription for Uncle Remus. I wish you luck, um, and uh, try not to hurt yourself on this one. It's a doozy. <laughs>